Thanks for joining me as we delve deeper into lesson number 12 in our study of 1 Peter. Peter is encouraging this congregation whose members are enduring this time of persecution, and he uses the story of Noah to draw some analogies and relate them to Christian baptism. Now, in the Noah story, there is obedience, there's persecution, there's judgment by water, and in a sense, there's also salvation from judgment by water. Now, Christian adult baptism uh, is an outward sign that one has judged themselves a sinner. Now, in doing so, they've acknowledged their sins, have those deeds that have deterred and, and, and damaged and destroyed right relationships with God, with self, with others, and with the earth. The earth represents our stewardship of material resources. Those relationships aren't right. We own having fallen from God's ideal. One refutes that former way of life, that living selfishly, condemning that behavior by being submerged in the water. Now, there's no right or wrong way to baptize, but water is always involved. It can be sprinkled, it can be poured, or a person testifying can be immersed. Now, the immersion method is just a more physically symbolic of your identification with Jesus. A person is raised up out of the water, symbolizing Jesus's resurrection, and thus declared that they are living a new way, God's way, as they exit the water. Now, Noah was already right with God before the flood. The deluge is a sign of judgment. Under the water was a sign of death of the old way of life. Now, the waters eventually recede and new life begins. And I think that's the symbolism in baptism. Now, the scholars tell us that after the ritual, you were welcomed in to the fellowship of the congregation. And a buddy of mine, Sean, he suggested that we should consider Peter's letter from the perspective of an, of an underground resistance movement. Interesting idea. And with that in mind, baptism is how the movement knew that you were really with him. Maybe the same goes today. Till next time, God bless.